here at the RTR 2017 with a static camper van. Uh, I'm gonna briefly show his uh, machine and how simple was it uh, taking a ProMaster City from the factory and converting it to uh, what you're seeing. My setup is just to make it as simple as possible. So as you can see, like the cabinets you're looking at there uh, are just real simple uh, put together. I've, I've been full-timing for nine months uh, in this, and uh, I've made little tweaks here and there, but size-wise, uh, I don't need any more space. Nice. So, yeah, well, one of the things that I, I thought was really important to me was to have uh, running water. So I do have a water pump, uh, and that just pulls water out of this five-gallon bucket right. down here, which I can just fill up manually. Nice. Um, but this big sink, it just serves kind of multi-purpose for me. All right now, where's your gray water? So that just goes straight down uh, out the ground. This is actually okay. the the uh, the tube that just takes it straight out and down. down the yeah, fantastic vent is that? Uh, that is actually a max air. Oh, uh, max air. Okay. Uh, the idea with that is um, I can leave it open all the time. I basically leave it cracked open all the time, uh, and I don't have, ever have to close it when it rains. Thing to me, you know, if you are stuck in the van, which the whole purpose of me having a little van is to get me out of the van uh, and to get me right. out outside in the sunshine. Uh, it's not very warm out today, but um, exactly. But to get me out. Uh, but when you are stuck in the van, it, you know, you need ventilation. So the idea was to have a ventilation fan that I could run all the time, 24/7. Uh, so that that's why I went with that. Like showers at the gym, yeah. which is the best way, right? Just, yeah, you do exercise every time you shower, right. <laughs> almost. I don't ever exercise actually. I go in, I take a shower, I get out of there. <laughs> Maybe that's an exercise on its own. Walk in, in and out of the gym. <laughs> Maybe it gets you kind of funny sometimes, but it's, it's, not, it's not a big deal, yeah. Where I am in Southern California, it's really hot. Uh, it's, it's, we very easily get to 50 degrees Celsius during the summertime. And uh, I found that my Dometic fridge basically used more power than my one uh, 125 amp hour battery uh, was able to provide for it. So I limped along through the summer uh, and I was actually able to use the fridge all summer, but I was only able to use it as a fridge so I just recently added a second battery uh, in hopes that I would be able to run my Dometic fridge as a freezer if I wanted it. Right. That was actually my plan, was to get a small uh, inverter. And I've got a couple of 12-volt uh, sockets right. that I installed uh, around. I've got one in the back of the van than, than the one up here. But I've actually found I don't have any need uh, for an inverter. Right. Uh, in the last nine months, I haven't found even one time where I have needed an inverter to uh, to plug in something 120. Right. Perfect. Okay. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Bye.